Hello, it's me again. If your helmet doesn't fit, it won't save your head from injury. So here's how to make it fit. And remember, you can still get a ticket if it isn't strapped or doesn't fit properly. Almost everyone has ridden a bike sometime, but unfortunately, some people get hurt. Sometimes they get hurt really bad, but it doesn't have to happen to you. Most of the bad injuries can be stopped by using a really neat thing, a bicycle helmet. It's like a seatbelt for your head. I've worn a helmet since I was a baby. For your helmet to work, it's important that it fit right. A properly fitting helmet should sit level on your head and extend as far down as possible. No more than two finger widths above your eyebrows. A snug fit is important, so be sure the helmet is the smallest size that fits your head comfortably. The helmet that fits your head today will probably still fit for two or three years. Helmets vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but most have five basic elements. The shell, which is usually made from stiff polystyrene, sizing pads, a front strap, a rear strap, and a chin strap that includes the buckle. Making adjustments in these elements will provide a correct fit. Step 1. Have someone measure your head based on the manufacturer's instructions to find a proper shell size. Helmets come in a variety of sizes. Once you have measured your head and selected the right size helmet, put it on and try to push it to the front, back, and sides. If it's loose, it's time for step 2. Adjusting the pads. Most helmets come with an assortment of foam pads which can be inserted to give your helmet a custom fit. If after adjusting the pads, the helmet is still too loose, use thicker ones. If the helmet is too tight, use thinner pads. You may need to use a combination of the different sized pads to get the best fit. If the helmet continues to rock back and forth or from side to side, get a smaller helmet. A properly fitting helmet will move the skin on the forehead when rocked back and forth. Step 3 is adjusting the various helmet straps to make the helmet level and snug. Begin by rolling the rubber band off the end of the straps. This allows for the strap to be pulled through the adjustment buckle to either loosen or tighten the front and rear straps. The objective is to get both V's, which the front and rear straps create on both sides of the helmet, to come together just under your ears. To loosen the straps, push them through the adjustment buckle, pull the slack out and reinsert the rubber band over the straps. The ends of the straps will now be shorter. To tighten the straps, remove the rubber band, push the straps through the adjustment buckle in the opposite direction. Pull the slack out and reinsert the rubber band over the straps. The ends will now be longer. As you try the helmet on for a fit, be sure to keep it level across your forehead, two fingers above the eyebrow. The front strap should appear to be vertical. The strap in the back of the helmet should lie straight, a little below the ear and without any slack. The strap should meet in a V just below the front of the ears. When buckling the chin strap, make sure all the straps are equally tight. If the helmet tilts back, tighten the front strap to pull the helmet forward and level across the forehead. You may have to loosen the rear strap. If the helmet tilts forward, adjust the rear strap. This may require loosening the helmet's front strap. If the straps are adjusted correctly, the helmet should only be able to move about an inch when the helmet is pushed from front to back. Step 4 is to test the fit of the helmet. Now shake your head up and down and from side to side. At this point, if the helmet still moves, it's time for step 5. Fine-tuning the fit of the helmet. 
First, try using thicker or thinner pads. The helmet should not roll back or forward or from side to side. If it does, tighten the straps. The chin strap should feel tight when you open your mouth. Another way to test for an accurate fit is to place one finger between the closed jaw and the chin strap. A helmet that fits well will just allow for one finger between the two. Now that you have a properly fitting helmet, you need to practice buckling and unbuckling the helmet until it becomes easy and natural. As you grow, continue to check the fit of your helmet to ensure it's not too tight. If it is, remove the thick pads and replace them with thin pads and loosen the straps. If it's still too snug, it's time to reinvest in a new, life-saving bicycle helmet. Remember, it's easy to fit your helmet by following these five easy steps. Step 1. Measure your head to find the right size helmet shell. Step 2. Adjust the helmet for a custom fit by attaching the various size pads as needed to the crown, front, back, and sides of the helmet. Step 3. Adjust the front, rear, and chin straps. If the straps are adjusted correctly, the chin strap should feel tight when you open your mouth, and the helmet will only be removable by unbuckling the strap. Step 4. Test the fit of the helmet by shaking your head up and down and from side to side. Step 5. Fine-tune the fit of the helmet. Based on steps 1 through 4, fine-tune the fit of the helmet by adding thicker or thinner pads as needed and tightening or loosening the straps. Riding a bicycle is an exciting and meaningful part of our development. And knowing you're safe on the road is important for you and your parents. Whether you ride around the driveway or down the street, a helmet, adjusted for a snug fit, should be worn on every ride. That's it. It's easy to figure out, and if you can't, ask the SRO or a friend to help you fit your helmet correctly. No worries.